Brandy McLaughlin. I want to pose a question to you guys as a group. How many have, of you have heard of the expression million dollar blocks? You heard, anybody else out there? Million dollar blocks? These million dollar blocks are not related to public or private investment and development in this city. Philadelphia has a lot of million dollar blocks. What it relates to is the amount of federal and state dollars that are put into entire blocks where people don't live anymore because they've been incarcerated. We have a problem with mass incarceration in this city, not only in this country, but in this city. And this city can't get better and be the city we all want it to be if we continue to have a criminal justice system that doesn't work for everyone and doesn't believe in justice for all. So I have been a criminal defense attorney in the city for close to 20 years. Um, I run my own practice now because I realized as a female that was the only, gonna, the only way it was going to work for me with young children as well. And I have sat with people who have been incarcerated for crimes they didn't commit um, to just to be later found guilty. And that has moved me in a way to put down my private practice and throw my name in to the ring to run for judge here in the Court of Common Pleas because I actually think and believe that Philadelphia right now is on a precipice. And it's on a precipice of change for the better when we can get all of our community stakeholders involved in fundamentally changing the system. It's not just about the criminal justice system, though. There are other systems in, in play that impact and create these million dollar blocks where people once were that now aren't. When you get arrested for a crime, if you are a parent or you're employed, the very first thing that usually happens to you is you lose your job. You then, after you lose your job, can't afford your own housing. But while you're away from your family, be it 24 hours, 48 hours, however it may be, a week, a month, years, what happens to the children? of those individuals. Does anyone want to take a guess? They're placed into the foster care system. So think about the dollars that are spent when we take people out of the community for crime. This is not to say that people don't commit crimes who um, shouldn't spend some time away. But that can't be the answer any longer because once you're plucked out of the system, it's really hard to get back in and become a stakeholder in your community. And these are the things that have inspired me to, again, put down my private practice, probably make a little less money, <laughs> and become a judge in this city because I think we need people on the bench that are willing and wanting to take the laws that we have, apply them fairly, impartially, but yet be informed about how we create progress and change. So we need people who understand what the root causes of mass incarceration are. We need people to understand when we have communities that may be over-policed, that a disproportionate amount of those individuals wind up in the system. And we should never have a dependent care system where parents don't know where their children are or don't get to see their children because they've made mistakes. We have to have a system that allows reentry into a community that you then get to have a stake in. Because it doesn't make sense to have million dollar blocks where nobody lives. We want them to be blocks 
that contribute to the community. So all of that has informed this process for me, and I feel very, very thankful for Christopher to give me an opportunity to uh, briefly address you guys and let you know that I'm running for judge for the Court of Common Pleas in 2019. That means the primary is just around the corner in May. I'm also going to suggest that anybody who's interested in joining my campaign um, come up to me afterwards. My uh, palm cards are out front, and I would love to welcome um, people to this campaign because I want this campaign to not be about uh, you know, special interests. I want this campaign to be about people who believe in progress in Philadelphia and want to see a change in how we understand um, and deal with the tough issues in our community. Because again, it's wonderful to think about progress, but if we leave the people that, that are from here, uh, our citizens behind, then it's not really progress. So thank you.